Hi everyone, and welcome back to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install nested KVM virtual machine on Ubuntu 20.04, right? Using the popular QEMU software packages. Okay, so to install the virtualization packages needed, right? Issue the following command. So we'll be installing all the bridge utility, CPU checker, the virtualization daemons and clients, the QEMU uh, software packages. And for those who are, of you who are used to, you know, graphical user interface, especially if you're using like uh, VMware or Hyper-V, then virtual machine, uh, virtual manager is the package to install for uh, interacting or creating VM through the client-based GUI interface. Okay, so let's install the packages. So once the packages are installed, you're good to go. Um, the next thing you want to check is to see whether your Linux instance support KVM or if you're like me running a VPS on a hosted provider like DigitalOcean, uh, you want to make sure that it supports nested KVM. So issue the command, sudo kvm-ok, right? This will show you that if the, you know, KVM components directory exists and whether KVM acceleration can be used, right? So if you see this, that it can be used, then we are good to go for KVM or virtualization. Next, what you want to do is to make sure that if you are not using root, uh, you need to make sure that your sudo, which you need to have at least have one uh, user account or username is added to the necessary uh, group. So the two groups that you need to add to is so add user, the username to the group, right? It's KVM and as well as uh, the virtual library, which is virtualization library. So this is the two groups that you need to add to. I've already added on mine, added mine to the group. So you can see that it'll tell you that it's already a member of the necessary group. So that's fine. So make sure that you have that. Next one you gonna do is just to do a quick uh, validation that the virtualization daemon is running so let's just make sure that mm. okay you can see that it is active and running now if it's not not to worry you can issue the following command to so enable turn on as well as uh, oops and enable the virtualization machine now now if you copy the command from uh, the website, right? And if the text are not being uh, normalized for copying to your command, do make sure the minus or the dash is correct, right? So issue this command. What system control enable minus minus or dash dash now, followed by the uh, virtualization daemon, starts the daemon, now and then enable the daemon to start up automatically uh, after reboot, right? A pers persistent um, the startup of the virtualization daemon. So actually, those the, those are the steps that you need to you know install and enable the virtualization daemon with the necessary packages uh, in your Ubuntu. Okay, so once we've done that, you know we're good to go to start creating virtualized or virtual machine. Okay, uh, a couple of things to take note. So by default, if you are doing using a VPS with uh, you know standard uh, options, the this size are usually not a lot, right? So uh, you know my default general purpose uh, VPS or you know um, hosted machine is only has only twenty five gig, right? So if you are going to run a few virtualized machine, you know twenty five gig is not enough. So recommended. Add a volume, so which I've done. I added added a hundred gig to my trial environment to store all the uh, images for my virtualization setup or virtual machine setup. So what we are to do is first create a directory. 
okay, minus P option allows you to create a subdirectory automatically. So we're going to create a in my volume. Okay, so I have uh, do a, I've done a symbolic link uh, for my dev SDA, which is the mounted volume. Okay, we're going to create KVM images. So that's that's where we are going to okay, remember sudo if you're not in root directory <coughs> root user. So once that's done, we have created our image. The next thing we want to do is to use the command line uh, virtual install command to install our first uh, virtualized or first virtual machine on our uh, nested KVM environment. Okay, so I've Let's give it a name, you know, I'm going to do it five because I've done quite a fair bit of uh, creation before this. I'm going to specify the folder, which is mount volume two KVM images, you know, which is where we have created to store our images, uh, specify the image name, and I'm going to create the first image with 20 gig of space, right? I'm going to use one virtual CPU core, two gig RAM, we're going to get the image from the online uh, repository. You can specify a local directory if you have downloaded the ISO. We're going to use the default uh, virtual bridge group 0, which is a netted uh, kind of uh, network setup that allows us to access the internet. We're going to use VNC, right? listening on port 5901 for this setup. Okay, so now before we do that, let's just do a that's that minus antp to check that I don't have five nine zero one port uh, running. Okay, so we're good. So now, once we've done some of the basic check, we are good to install. So issue the command, and then let's hit enter to install based on the XML template that we have created. Okay, what you can see is it's download, it has downloaded the necessary file, okay, creating the uh, image. Okay, once you see this waiting for installation to complete, it means that we have done the basic provisioning for the virtualization or the virtual machine. We now need to use VNC to connect to the domain or the image installation and then continue our installation of the Ubuntu VM. Okay. So let's launch our. Okay, I've already defined a password. So for VNC, you can do that or you can keep it. So you can see, right? So once you have done the necessary provisioning, right? Open up VNC. You can now start to install the Ubuntu client, right? So this installation will take some time. Uh, so I'm going to forward this part of the installation so that we can complete the installation and show you that you can now use um, the Ubuntu virtual machine to access the internet. Okay, so we're finished installing the guest virtual machine. Now, if your guest VM, like me, gets stuck at the clean files step, or it takes a very long time to clean up the file, you can always press Control, Alternate or Option in uh, Mac, and then press F1 to switch to the command prompt, right? Uh, sometimes it takes a very long time to clean up uh, in a virtualized environment. So then you can log in. Okay, you can install another desktop 
right? Just by issuing sudo apt get install ubuntu dash desktop. There are many ways to fix this, right? Um, however, reinstalling the GUI seems to work as well. So let's do this. Okay, so you can either try start X first before reinstalling the Ubuntu desktop, or you could be you could like me reinstall the Ubuntu desktop and then issue start X. Okay, click next for setting up the desktop and then click on start using Ubuntu. Okay, and you can see that we are back in, right? So let's launch the browser. And let's go to my favorite website. And there you go. I'm able to surf the internet from inside Ubuntu. Guess VM. Okay, now let's just do a quick validation and make sure that we can restart and it doesn't get hanged in the cleaning up of file again. Okay, you can see now it boots up pretty fast. And now we have a Ubuntu client VM on top of the base Ubuntu right running on nested kvm so you can do this and have various different kind of linux instance running on kvm in my next tutorial i will show you how to install windows uh, server on kvm so that you can have a lab environment whereby you can use the active directory to integrate with a lot of the security products that i have uh, you know show on how to install and integrate in my channel thank you very much for watching do stay safe and take care of yourself. Thank you.